Congratulations, Challenge Comp Beast. Thank you. Thank you. Incredible overall game. Let's talk through a few parts of it. When you scooped up Q after Q had sort of thrown his game out, uh, you it looked like you kind of scooped him up. What was your plan there? Um, my relationship with Q was one of loyalty. Um, Q from the Tim vote out actually um, demonstrated his loyalty to me in a look. He looked at me and he said, Tim had to go. And I said, I get it. I understand. Next came Tiffany throwing my name out there. And he told me the person that I trusted in this game is coming for you. I feel like I need to tell you. And so, you know, they say that you can't have trust in this game, but you can, you know, I had somebody in Charlie that I trusted. I had somebody, a new person in Q that I trusted. And so why not play a game with somebody that I trusted? So if you, so I guess at this point, as you're sort of setting up the end game for yourself, who did you want to sit next to? I felt comfortable sitting next to anybody, honestly, anybody. I think at that time, at that final six, even final seven, I was like, I can do this. I can plead my case. I can, you know, demonstrate to the jury <clears throat> why I should be here, why I am here at the end. So I didn't really have any hesitation as to who it was going to be sitting next to. Obviously, Charlie was my biggest competition because we played so much of a similar game. But um, and that's why I had to take a shot at him, which I think, you know, that's just out of complete respect. And obviously he was doing the same thing for me. It just never materialized. We saw a bonus scene of you letting <clears throat> Ben know that you you were suspicious of him, didn't seem to trust Ben. Where did that come from? Yeah. Um, I've had this question a lot. So, um, the day that Jem got voted out, the day that she was running around trying to complete her idol, Charlie and I found an envelope in a tree. It was an empty envelope. That was a journey envelope. It looked like just the same envelope that I got when I went on a journey. Ben had been on a journey. He said he got an envelope. Tim said he didn't get an envelope. So we knew that only one person had an envelope. And there was an envelope stuffed in a tree, just like mine. And so there were suspicions, obviously, because it's like, what are you doing? What, what is that? Where is that coming from? And then there was a lot of back and forth between Tim and Ben, taking things out of their pockets, slipping them into their backpacks, back and forth, back and forth. And it was like, they were drawing suspicion to themselves. Then, you know, the first, I don't know how many days that was, 9, 10, 11 days before Jem got voted out. They never wanted to talk strategy. There was no strategy talk. They were broing out and it was a lot of fun for them to be on the island. And I'm like, I want to play this game. Like we're going, we're going. Y'all can come along if you want to. But then, so by the time we get to Tim being voted out, Ben comes to me and he's like, hey, my number one is gone. Like, what do I do now? And I'm like, I don't understand this game. I don't understand. Like I've been wanting to play with you. I've been wanting to talk strategy and you don't want to talk strategy. So why now? So, you know, there was a lot of context to that scene that should have been shown if they're going to show the scene. So the rock, paper, scissors moment uh, sure seemed like a big moment. Now that time has passed and you watch the edit back, how do you feel about that choice? Yeah. So um, also what wasn't shown was the prior reward, Applebee's. I asked to be removed from that so Liz could take my spot. I made fire for Liz whenever she got rice so she could eat. That moment, I went into that reward choice saying it had to be Ben. Ben was hurting, Ben had to eat, and it had to be Liz, right? That's what my heart said. Then I look at Q and Q says, you gotta take me, I took you. And so my mind said, I cannot cut off this loyal ally of mine. So everything I said leading up to that, I want to feed the people whose bodies needed it the most. That was true. Mm -hmm. But then I had this friend that I had made, this new friend that was so loyal to me. And then I froze. I froze. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to make that choice between my head and my heart. I And, and yeah, it sucked. Mm -hmm. At the Q vote out, you know, for, as a viewer, we're watching this great edit that's basically like Maria, Charlie going for each other. Um, and then you being surprised by the vote, it appears to us that our, that Charlie has outplayed you. Is that accurate? 
Um, I mean, I think it got outplayed by everybody that was left in the game. You know, like I truly thought Liz and Kenzie were with us. Q mm -hmm. and I were convinced that Liz and Kenzie were, were voting our way. So yeah, I totally got duped. Mm, I see. Um, and Q mentioned when he spoke with me that if you had explained to him that like Charlie had this plan to vote him, you know, maybe he'd do some big scene with his idol. How, how do you feel about that choice? I mean, he knew his name was out there. I told mm -hmm. him that you might get a vote. Like we just didn't sniff it out. Like we totally thought Liz and Kenzie were with us. He knew his name was out there. It was no surprise. It was that it was credible to us that they were voting with us. Yeah, mm -hmm. we look back on it and we're like, damn, like, you know, he should have, we could have done this. We, you know, so many should have, would have, could have. So we get to the final vote. And of course, we're all shocked that you vote Kenzie over Charlie. Uh, explain to me, do, do you give, do you give Charlie credit for getting you and Q out or do you give them both the credit? Um, Charlie played an amazing game and I have incredible respect for Charlie my decision ultimately came down to final four fire making and final tribal council. Um, when I saw Kenzie succeed in fire, the look on her face and the fire in her eyes showed me so many times in my life where I have overpowered, conquered something. Um, it, it spoke to me so much on a deeper personal level. And then it came down to the final tribal council, Q's question of what are you going to do with the money? And it wasn't to me what Charlie did wrong. It was what Kenzie did right. She said, I've done my whole life given things for everybody else. This is the first time I'm taking this money and I'm doing it for me. I want to get married. I want to start a family. And that's the whole reason I came on the show. I came on this show because I said, in motherhood, I've given everything up. I've given so much up to be a mom, to be a wife, to support these kids. This show is for me. And so that just hit me. It hit me on a personal level. And yeah, I didn't go with my heart in the pizza reward, but I sure as hell went with my heart <laughs> for this final tribal. So, I mean, playing the game is a wild experience, but watching it back it is a, a completely different experience, especially when you have a family that you get to watch it back with you. What has that been like? It's been so incredible. The The kids and my husband, um, my family, nobody knew how I did. Nobody knew anything about it. Um, so just to get to watch them see everything unfold in front of me and them screaming and my husband's like, baby, you got this, you did it, you what? You know, like, it's just been, it's been awesome. Obviously we've had lots of tears that we've shared together, but um, it's been really a, a really wonderful moment. And what was your highest high out there on Fiji? I mean, <clears throat> there were so many, but I, ha I have to say the immunity wins, you know, like mm -hmm. at, at my age, right? Everyone's like, you're the old person on the show. Like, I don't feel old. And I feel like this was a great message to mature folks and women in general that like, you can do hard things. You can do scary things. Yes. Stop telling us we're old. Yes, Please. I am not <laughs> old, darn it. <laughs> I appreciate you showing everybody that. So and now that you've had some space, some some distance from all of this, can you sum up what this experience was like for you? I have an immense amount of pride about this journey, um, this experience. It's exceeded every expectation that I had. It's been a dream of mine for many, many years. And just, I feel so lucky to have had the opportunity to to live my dream, to fight my dream, to play the game that I played. Absolutely. Well, it was lovely watching you play such a strong game. And I really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you so much.